Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss uncompetitive type of how we can plot double reciprocal plot or line weaver work plot for uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. And also we will find out or calculate the inhibition constant that is Ki value for this type of enzyme inhibition. So let first I, I would like to explain that what is uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. So in this inhibition, the inhibitor binds with the enzyme which is already bound with the substrate either on the, uh, the our inhibitor either binds at the substrate bound enzyme site or the other than the active site may be the allosteric site of the enzyme. But in this type of enzyme inhibition, the substrate is must and it should be bound with the enzyme and then we will uh, find out that it is the uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. So if the inhibitor is not bound with the substrate and uh, uh, sorry, it, if the substrate is not bound with the enzyme, then the type of enzyme inhibition will not be the uncompetitive. During this, when we study in, in vitro that uh, we are taking different concentrations of the substrate. So here we have different concentrations of substrate, maybe in millimolar. And uh, then we take uh, enzyme inhibitor concentration, uh, inhibitor concentration, five micromolar, 6.25, 3.12. So here are the uh, inhibitor concentrations so for all these inhibitor concentrations we will check the velocity or rate of the enzyme catalysis with all these substrate concentrations and uh, these are the rate of enzyme catalysis when these enzyme rates are in this substrate concentrations so for three to four substrate concentrations we study the enzyme rate for each inhibitor concentration like here if we take 12.5 micromolar inhibitor concentration we will check this uh, enzyme rate at uh, the substrate concentration by taking 1 by taking 0 0.5 substrate concentration 0 0.25 and 0 0.125 so this concentration of inhibitor will be analyzed with all these substrate concentrations similarly this enzyme inhibitor concentration we will study this for all these substrate concentrations. So in this way we will get this kind of table. So and then we will take inverse of these concentrations like here we, the substrate concentration. So here will be the 1 by S that is the inverse of substrate concentration. Similarly here is the uh, velocity or rate of enzyme catalysis at 0 inhibitor concentration. So all these so here we will take 1 by V. So here is the 1 by V of 1 by inverse of the rate of enzyme catalysis for 0 inhibitor concentration. Similarly, here is the V or enzyme rate or velocity of the enzyme catalysis at 12.5 micromolar inhibitor. And here it will be the 1 by V of these. So we will take inverse of these values. We will get these values. So similarly here 1 of 1 by V and here is the 1 by V. So in this way we will take inverse of the substrate and inhibitor concentration. So all, all these are the inverse and after this we will copy this table from here and then we will plot here in like here we have already opened graph pad prism 9.2 version. So we will paste here in this way and then after pasting here like here I am going to select here and then we will go to paste and paste data. So in this way we will paste our results here. So we will first we will fi uh, take file and we will open the new project file. Now we have this data and we are going to analyze that either it is the uh, competitive, uncompetitive or non-competitive type of enzyme inhibition. Before this, uh, we don't 
know that what is the type of inhibition for this data so go to analyze and then we will go to here from here analyze data and we will go to simple linear regression for are these and then simple linear regression and uh, so here and then we will take it minus 3 or minus 4 already shown you that for extension of our lines we need to put here minus 2 or minus 1 and uh, we will not check this and uh, interpolate unknown for so we will not check other values so now ok and uh, then we will get oh, 0 0.319 y intercept x intercept and inverse of slope values will be here and uh, but we are we have a concern with this graph so if we look at this graph it represents that all these lines are not merging or converging at any point on the y-axis or x-axis if the uh, if the these points or these lines merge at the y-axis then this type of enzyme inhibition will be competitive inhibition and if these lines merge at the, this minus x axis then these line will be the then the, this type of enzyme inhibition will be non-competitive inhibition and if these lines are not going to merge on y axis or x axis then this type of enzyme inhibition will be the uncompetitive inhibition so these are the uncompetitive enzyme of in, uh, enzyme inhibition in which all these lines go parallel to each other and they are not going to merge at any point on the x or y axis so it means that it is our uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition and these are our data values so these values will become when we take these title so these title represents our these values so we can also change by here we can also change from this if you want to change this and then we can write here and we can write it is the y-axis so it is the one over v values milliunit so today i am going to show you that we can also put here symbols from here if we want to put symbol from like here it is micromolar or gamma or alpha so we can put from third alphabets greek alphabets alpha beta gamma or we can insert math alphabets from here divide plus minus or arrow and we can also insert european so in this way we can insert the symbols from this box and from here we can insert equations for our uh, data and now i am going to change the color so we will go to more color schemes and then i am going to change it to candy bright i like candy bright color so we will go to candy bright okay now now this is our data and it represents that it is our uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition so after this how we can find out the inhibition constant or ki value so in case of uncompetitive inhibition we have alpha ki value now this is our second table so this table represents that the substrate concentration versus enzyme rate in different inhibitor concentration so we will copy this data from here and then we will make another file we will open another file and then we will paste here so i have already pasted here and after this we will analyze our data we can directly go from here analyze our data and uh, we will go to nonlinear regression for this 
so we will go to from here we will go to analyze so analyze data so now we will go to nonlinear regression curve fit so it is our nonlinear regression curve fit for type of enzyme inhibition or ki value analyze our data and then these are the recently used file we can choose from here directly or we will go to enzyme kinetics and in enzyme kinetics we will go to uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition but before uh, before this the, we can also use michaelis menten or k catalysis but not in this time we we are going to take this uncompetitive type because we know that it is our uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition and we are going to find out the value of ki so these are the uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition okay now here is our the data for k value if we look at the graph so the graph will be like this and uh, if it is not like uncompetitive then the graph will be not represented in this kind of so okay from here these are the alpha k value in case of uncompetitive inhibition there will be alpha ki value you can find out from the literature that why we use alpha ki uh, for uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition so it is 0.0042 micromolar 0.0042 because we have taken our values in micromolar mm -hmm. and uh, this is the vmax and km but we, we are not going to uh, we are not we have no concern with these v max r k m value we have only this alpha k i value and uh, in all cases you have observed that uh, for when we are going to take competitive one competitive or non competitive it represents v max and k m same for all these and uh, but these are not the in case of our and and uh, we we are only uh, interested with this alpha ki value for this type of enzyme inhibitions and uh, for km or vmax we can choose another graph we can go from here and from here how we can tell that what is the km and vmax so here we know that vmax is going to change in all these types so in all inhibitor concentration by changing the inhibitor concentration vmax is going to change and also the km KM is also going to change. So K, KM is the X intercept and Vmax is the Y intercept. So both of these are going to change in, in case of uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. And we have already discussed from here that Vmax is going to decrease and KM is going to decrease. So and this is our control. So uh, same is the case here. This is our control which is in pink color and when we are going to increase the inhibitor concentration so Vmax is going to so increase and here is the Km value and Km value is also going to increase by increasing the inhibitor concentration and by decreasing the inhibitor concentration Vmax is going to decrease and Km is going to decrease in this direction. So so it represents that it is our uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition and for alpha ki value we will use uh, another table which is the substrate versus enzyme rate concentration enzyme rate and then we will plot our uh, graph and uh, from this nonlinear fit data we can find out that it is our alpha ki value for this type of enzyme inhibition so we can also make these changes from here we can also make changes on the uh, y-axis we have rate of enzyme reaction we can also write unit here we will write here that 
insert micro okay now this is our micro molar so for all these we can write this and then we can change the color we can change the part from here as watching my video so this is the uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition and we find out the ki value so we can write here that what is our alpha ki value so alpha ki value we can write here is equal to micro molar because we are going to thanks for watching my video i love you